Okay, gonna show us a drive coming back from my parents. And it's gonna narrate as we go. So that turn right there it normally doesn't do too well. Um, just because it doesn't quite check correctly for blind spots yet. I believe that it's gonna be fixed though in version 9 coming up. Uh, this road all the way through town does good for the most part. It does have a few hiccups. Uh, and I will explain those as we get to that point. But generally going down here is pretty smooth and I'll probably speed it up to go over all this spot. So right here, that stop sign you saw, it thought for whatever reason that stop sign was facing me and decided to slam on the brakes right there. There's a couple of stop signs on this road it does it for. And we'll see if version 9 doesn't fix that. That stop sign right there is a 50-50 shot, whether it does it or not. So it's kind of odd. And just I kind of always usually have to pay attention to it. But I know it's going to happen there. It has done it at this stop sign once before as well. I have a yellow light coming up. So this corner right here is kind of odd because it turns like this. So it doesn't see it quite as far back as I can see it. And so I think, my hope is with version 9, that it's going to be improved as well. And so I'm going to keep track of all these things and see what happens with version 9 and see what, what happens. So perfect acceleration. This is a good speed right here to accelerate at. This stop sign coming up regularly will um, cause it issues. And tonight, no issues. So normally I would think that stop sign w was on this road as well and would try to stop, but I didn't have to do anything. So right here, I manually slow it down. It comes way too fast into this intersection right here. So I always have to slow it down to 30 tops to come through this intersection here. And as you can see, yeah, this time and it won't turn on the blinker yet so I have to turn on the blinker and this is actually one of the best times it actually did this intersection this year we're going to speed it back up to 35 that is what the speed limit is right in this section and it's going to go down to 20 not 20 25 actually no it is 20 here it's only 20 here when the school is in session and it's 20 up ahead all, all day long So this is new right here. This is probably not, this is not mapped. This section right here. This is a new load. The high school is gonna remodeled here. And it's freaking out. This road was not here a month ago. Oh, turn it on the blinker. See that? Okay, I okay. can't. Cars around me probably think I'm an idiot. Um, okay, so this is a perfect example of a change in situation where it adapted all, and okay, it's, the speed limits also are off here. It doesn't read the signs um, fast enough. It's getting over here to um, take a left far up ahead, which is good. This is where you should get over in this spot here. But yes, that spot back there was a perfect example of it adapting to a new scenario that could not have been mapped yet. HD maps on another vehicle would not have been mapped in that section. And it did, a, it did fairly well. It made you know slight mistakes, but 99%. It obviously it made it through without messing up, so that's what counts. It needs to turn right here. See right here. See this car behind me is like, what are you doing? Because it's not going in the proper lane. Let's go to Sixth Avenue West. Yeah, this car to the right. And he's gonna... <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and then it speeds up to 40 mile an hour, even though it's only 25, 20 in this section right here. Um, I wonder if there's a way I can I'm trying to get it so you can see my hand. I, my hand's on the wheel on the left side. Um, I will tell if I have to take over anything, or it would be pretty obvious. You'll hear the, the sound if I take over. Or I tell if I have to press the accelerator or anything like that. My foot's just hovering above the accelerator because of phantom braking. 
So um, like when it stops at the stop sign uh, inadvertently. So I have to make sure if, if the car is behind me, it's not gonna inadvertently brake and brake check them. Especially when I have a police car next to me. So right here, you can see how it went from 20 to 45 mile per hour. Um, it really should kind of ease into that speed and gain up to that speed. They need some type of, I don't know what it would be called, they need a feature that can tell the speed, uh, higher speed limits coming up. So the normal driver will speed up to that as it, as it approaches versus all of a sudden speeding up as soon as it changes. And it chooses to just stay in the same. For me, even though you know we're going three under what I would have it set to with this car in front of me, I just would prefer to stay in this lane the whole way and not change over. Because what's what's going to happen is it's going to change over, and it's just going to sit there. This person will probably just try and speed up inadvertently, and then the person behind me gets ticked off because I'm not actually passing the person. I'm just kind of chilling there in the left lane, which is not what you're supposed to be doing. to do here is because it goes down to a 35 mile an hour speed limit I automatically lower it down to 40 this is what I would like to see happen automatically as it approaches the speed limit I would like to have it automatically speed down just like I mainly made it do it would normally have been going 50 right here and then jam down the 40 mile an hour which is not smooth for the passengers and nor would I want to be going 50 into 35 if there was a police car sitting there Hard stop on the yellow, but appropriate length to stop. Very appropriate speed, I think, uh, or appropriate distance to have stopped. I would have normally stopped that as well. However, I would have just completely lit off the accelerator and you did full regen to do a much smoother stop. I can tell it uses the friction brakes currently to do a stop. Uh, and it's much less smooth um, versus just using full region uh, and obviously less efficient as well. Okay, that's a good startup. See right here it kind of starts being slow. It should have a more straight line acceleration. It kind of speeds up, slows down, and speeds up again. Right here, it doesn't normally turn the blinker on very well because we're getting on the highway right here. You can see it's kind of freaking out. It doesn't even turn the blinker on. That's what it should do. And it just kind of freaks out trying to get on the highway. It's like brakes and swerves and brakes a little bit. Um, you can see it going on the on ramp. It sticks to 50 mile an hour and then it will speed up. See it gets to 65. It won't let you turn on the blinker. I think that's because of the way I have it set. I don't have uh, navigating on a pilot set to do automatic lane changes just because it might be because of the way people drive around here. Um, when you set it to pass, I only have a five mile an hour offset. So when you get up to the 65 mile an hour sign, it's going to go up to 70. However, people go 80 mile an hour in the left lane. And when you, you try and pass someone going 65, someone tailgates you the whole way when that person in the right starts speeding up. And so you're just kind of hovering in the left lane like you're not supposed to. And so the car doesn't speed up past this select range to get around the car. Um, so it, uh, it, it's a problem, so I, I just don't do it. It causes traffic issues and causes people to get pissed off at you and everything else. It's definitely something that has to be fixed before this car can fully self-drive. Um, I'm confident Tesla will be able to do it. I'm just probably going to let it cruise.
cruise for here. I don't normally record the highway sections, but I think for this drive, I'm just going to cruise and let it go through the whole thing. right here I have to pay close attention to it doesn't see this direction very well oh it's actually not going to see it stayed way too far back and it makes the turn great and a little bit slow for my liking but um, um it just it just not confident at that corner yet I think version 9 will fix that also, speed limits, as you can see, is 45 mile an hour road. This, it always marks this as a 25 mile an hour road if it doesn't see a sign for whatever reason. I've corrected in an open street map, but wherever Tesla's getting their data from, it just doesn't mark it correctly. And so, you can come down this road, no problems. Um, it does slow down more than I would slow down around these corners. Uh, do I like taking corners at high speed? Um, so, and I'm used to the mountain curves, um, so I, it's hard for me to judge what a person not used to the curves around this area would feel comfortable with. For me, I can go probably 60, no problem around these curves. Um, but the car obviously wants to go 45, which is comfortable. Uh, it just feels a little bit slow for my liking. So at this corner, I would probably go 45 around, um, but it's gonna go 35 and down to 25 as you can see. It doesn't need to speed up anymore um, since I am at my destination. So yeah, um, if you guys have questions for me, um, put them down below. Um, I'm always glad to answer anything I can. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.